Well, now we're looking at base E and natural logarithms. And both the base, natural base E and the natural log carry all the properties of exponents and uh, logarithms that we've previously studied, properties of equality, product property, quotient property, power property. Uh, and so we're beginning here first to, to uh, do a couple of things. We're going to write some exponential equations in logarithmic form, and then we're going to write some logarithmic equations in exponential form. And so we're going to start here by writing exponential equations in logarithmic form. So we have here on the left, e raised to the power of x equals 9. And if I want to write this in logarithmic form, let's take the natural log of both sides of this equation. And over here, the ln, the natural log, and natural base e is going to cancel, and we're left with x equals the ln, the natural log of 9. Well, that seems simple enough. Let's go over here to the, on the right side. We got e raised to the power of 7 equals x. And again, we're going to take the natural log of both sides. And again, the natural log and natural base e cancel. And we're left then with 7 equals ln of x. And for what we're doing right now and asked to do, which is write exponential equations in logarithmic form, this is all we got to do. We'll find this is very useful when we want to solve equations and actually solve for x. Well, let's move to the next slide, and there we're going to take some uh, expressions written in logarithmic form and put them in exponential form. So here we got ln of x is approximately equal to 2.1438. And now we're going to take, we're going to exponentiate both sides. So we got e raised to the power of ln of x equals e, approximately equal e raised to the power of 2.1438. And natural base e and the natural log is going to cancel. And we're left here with x is approximately equal to e raised to the power of 2.1438. This is not bad, simple enough. All right, how about ln of 18 equals x? Well, again, we're going to exponentiate both sides. So we got e raised to the power of ln of 18 equals e raised to the power of x. As long as what we do to one side of the equation, we do to the other. We got a permissible operation. And natural base e and the natural log cancel, and we end up with 18 equals e raised to the power of x. All right, well, that gets us started. And we'll explore a little more as we go along.